Welcome back to Tecmo Tuesday. We're kicking off season six. It's the 1978 season, playing for the third year in a row as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, capping off the trilogy that is the uh, you know the original three years of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when they first came into the league and they were the worst team of all time, pretty much. Um, we got Doug Williams, best quarterback that we've had by far up to this point. I went and uh, did a little bit tinkering with the playbook. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, got the guys in there. I don't know what is up with this ROM. It's weird. It's like they have the music playing in the main menu. This is the season end theme. I also noticed that when you go into a menu, you know, keep, the music is still playing, and then you back out of it, it starts all over again. So that's kind of weird. But anyway... Let's skip week uh, one and see what we got here. The Bills, Steelers beat the Bills, Patriots beat the Skins, the Browns lose to the 49ers, the Chiefs beat the Bengals, the Broncos beat the Raiders, the Jets beat the Dolphins, the Bears lose to the Cardinals, the Saints lose to the Vikings, the Rams lose to the Eagles, and now here we are. Uh, we're ready for our first game against the Giants. Um, let's see if this is, like, I don't know if we're all glitched out here and that the, if the, if this music plays even during the game and overlaps, it's still playing. Alright, it stopped. I don't know, I don't know if that was, if that, it's even, I've never played on this ROM before, so we'll see how it goes, uh, with that, and if, <laughs> if it's just, if it just... If it was a one-time thing, or if that's something that they decided to do to mess with the, uh, you know, just to change it up a little bit. And then, we've got the, uh, Super Bowl 12 logo. Or, or, Super Bowl, or 13, as it should be, right? 78, it would be Super, Super Bowl 13. So, either that's... Oh, no, that is 13, okay. Alright, they're gonna, there's gonna be some experimenting here in this game, because I don't know who... I'm gonna be wanting to control. I'll mess around with different guys, and we got a sack from one of the drones. Do we summon to start things off? That's always a good sign. All right, that was some good defense there by the front seven. Third down. Uh, I got this one. I called the shotgun. I don't think they have a shotgun run. And it's picked. I don't know which of the Buccaneers got that pick. If it was at Washington, I think I had him. I might have had him. All right, let's see how the running game goes. We got some great field position to start this off. And it's a great run, breaking a couple tackles and a first down. And a touchdown. Had to come back for it. Wasn't the most on-target pass, but it works. Morris Owens gets the touchdown catch. So this is a hell of a start here. We got the uh, the interception. Started off the great field position, and two plays later, you know, it's just first down and then touchdown. So everything's been, you know, it's only the first uh, half of the first quarter. First half of the first quarter. So the first eighth of the game, of game one. So there's a lot that can happen, including a big return, but you now that no all right, well, we got him stopped before that. It looked like he was gonna break loose over there. It was like that that if he would have gotten by that that last coverage guy, that could have been big uh big return. And it's hamming for a few. I'm gonna mess with some of these safeties here. Oh, and it turns out I needed to have him and oh I caught him from behind. Bubble it's out of bounds. All right, that actually costs him some yardage, too. All right, I'm going to be uh, caught in the other safety. Oh, I knew they were going to throw to this guy. And another pick. That one was definitely the guy I had. Caught me, yeah. It took too long to throw. I, 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 I got to admit that safety is not very fast. I went 
head on with that defender. I ran directly into him. Alright, let's give the ball to Davis. I don't think I've done that yet. Nice open field. Breaking a few tackles. And a first down. You know, this is also the... Uh, this is definitely the... Out of the three Tampa teams that I've played as so far, this was definitely the, the, the better of the three, or the, the best of the three. Uh, you know, of course, we already mentioned Doug Williams. You have the best quarterback that the Bucks have had up to this point. Um, ugh. On target, too. Um, but, you know, they were slowly building... It took them some time. I mean, it didn't actually it didn't take them, considering the circumstances and how free agency, uh, how expansions were. Oh, he got hit as he threw and a touchdown. Anthony Davis. Nice play there. Right, right as he got hit, he threw the ball and it went on target anyway. Um. What the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, Tampa... They... Considering how hard it was to have a good expansion team, or at least even a decent expansion team, or to, how long it would it really should take to get a team good, and meanwhile, we're giving up a big return into our own territory here to start the next possession. It should have been impossible for Tampa to get into the playoffs in their fourth year. And that's what happened in 79. They finally, they you know, only took a few years and they became a contender after losing their first 26 games. And meanwhile, I'm missing uh, a tackle big time. I got outmaneuvered, to say the least, there. All right, let's try Brown. Let's be some of the linebackers now. Oh, shit, this guy's wide open. He's stepping up. He's going to run. Six yards. I think he's going to keep this on the ground. It's very tight over here. Tough to get passing yardage in this situation. Oh, I was right. It wasn't the run that I called, but it was a run. Second, uh, third down and two. Back to being a uh, linebacker this time, Johnson. Oh, ah, oh, he got through. It was enough. Ah, oh, ate up my guy and got uh, just enough. Look at this. Second and goal from the one. Might as well be. Oh, shit, they're throwing. Are you gonna step up? Oh, fuck. I wanted to, like, just meet him head on and, and then... Because I always... Whenever I go for the dives, it never goes where I want him to. And I... You know what? I gotta stop rushing the kickers, too, because I can get through pretty good with... If I have a really... If, if there are slow guys on the interior, I'll I'll still rush it. But if they're, if they're too fast, if it's too easy to get through... I won't bother. It was something that was suggested to me uh, last season, and, and I've been trying to follow that. I don't want to break the game, you know? That's why I don't rush up the middle on defense either, at least not on pass plays. Oh, shit! Wow. See, that could have been a game changer right there. If I'd given up possession, and they score, holy fuck. Oh, man, that, he got hit... Uh, Got, he was met head-on right away. Dead no chance. Oh, boy. They're really starting to clog up the run lanes here. All right. Third down. This is a big down. No! He dropped it! Oh! That would have been a first down. Shit. All right. Oh, that did not mean to kick it that far. I was th I was too busy pontificating the time situation and everything. I mean, they do not have a lot of time to work with. All right, you can give up those plays. Yeah, you know, want to you want to do that in the next play? That'll be the end of the half, probably. They want to run it. Oh, shit. Oh, they're, they're running it. Oh, 
shit. All right. Whoa. That was the last line of defense there. There might have been another guy come that would have could have came in and, uh, and and caught up to him, but I would not have wanted to risk that. I mean, it was, I'm just glad that we uh, we got him where we did. I don't care about the yardage, you know. I mean, if it's uh, it's not, I'm not worried about stats or any of that shit. Very good. As long kickoffs, I want to get, you know, at least to the 20. Sometimes those, those, uh, the coverage guys, they swoop in there, and now they're on you. You just want to get out of the freaking end zone. No touchbacks on the kickoffs. Alright, let's go for it all here. We haven't done any deep threat, deep shots, and... Well, that might be why. Although there've been a few drops on uh, in the intermediate passes. Uh. All right, third down. I'm gonna go for pass one. It's 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 been my reliable. Although I did have a drop earlier today on one of those passes. Oh man, everybody's covered. Everybody's covered. Ah, uh, shit, shit. All right, am I gonna get it? I got it. I thought that was hopelessness. I didn't want to throw it because I was like, oh, it's going to be a pick. But at the same time, it's like it's a third down anyway. If I throw it deep, it's basically a punt. But uh, I figured I had at least a puncher's chance to get the first down. All right. I didn't want to go out of bounds there, but... Yeah, at least... Uh... Didn't get hurt. It's... <laughs> you know... The one benefit, the one, uh, consolation I'd say from that whole thing. Ugh! Way off target. It was closer to the receiver I wasn't even throwing to. Alright, another first. Just, just don't turn it over here, you know? We, we'll be in really good shape with a, uh, a two-score lead. A couple yards. That play's tough. The, the linebackers tend to uh, to get through, but that's a really good play for a short yardage. And holy shit, it comes to everybody. And yeah, the jig was up. They, they are often started to get a little too predictable. Oh, nice diving catch. I mean, it was important not to turn the ball over. We, you know, could not come out of that giving them the ball back with a chance to tie the game. Field goal would have been fine, but a touchdown, much better. Now they have to get in the end zone. Like, you have to look at it like they might only get two possessions left. So we're basically going to the third, uh, to the fourth quarter here. It's been consistent so far. We've gotten one touchdown in each quarter. If we can do that all season, we should uh, win way more often than we lose. Oh man, so many freaking jukes! Giants have had a decent running game in this game, you know. It's that they haven't gotten. It's not it doesn't show on the scoreboard, you know, because the defense has gotten some turnovers, you know, that ruined some of their drives. But we put them in these second and long situations, it makes it a lot harder, because even when they get these nice runs like that, now you see now it's third and long still. I thought they were going to run it. I was going to say, they have not, do not trust their... Oh, shit! They got the same, you know, as he's getting hit pass that we had earlier. See, I bought the run because I thought they didn't trust Pasarchi. And that was a nice uh, play by me. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. 
The other thing, too, about being one-dimensional is, uh, you know, if you're down like this, you know, it's hard to score and, um, and score quickly enough. You need the urgency. You need to get the, the points on the board and, and get the ball back. This is very efficient the way this drive is going, but, you're, you know, we're under three minutes now, and you're down two scores. This is a drive that's all well and good if it's a tie game or if you're up three or, or some shit, but, uh, you know, not when you're down 14. Ah, oh, shit, I had him wrapped up. He broke through, and you know what? Even when you have him, you know, even if you're all one-dimensional, once in a while, the guy, you know, you bust through and get a huge game. I mean, my point still stands. See, it's, it's two and a half minutes left, not even. Oh, shit. All right, I'm glad I missed. I'm glad I didn't make that block, because I, like I said before, I'm not gonna rush the kickers, and that would have ruined the game right there. Because I'm up, then I'd be up seven. I mean, I'd be up eight, and I, they wouldn't even have a chance. But I'm, you know, I don't want to break the game by easily blocking extra points and then changing the whole freaking complexion. So now we gotta uh, get first downs and run out the clock, and it's not gonna help when they come busting through. And they're gonna call the to, aren't they? Uh, okay. Um, let's try the other side. Other side, first down. All right. Just get out of bounds. Oh shit! Actually, uh, I, I was doing that so I wouldn't fumble, but that does stop the clock, which is uh, yeah, the antithesis of what we're trying to do. I met right at him, but shook him off. Picked up another seven. That's a huge difference. So there are other. I, I guess they're out of timeouts. I don't. I didn't realize they had used them all up. <clears throat> another first. All right, it's looking good. I mean, with the exception of a fumble, we should be fine. Tick. Um, you know, maybe two more plays. Maybe. That's it. <clears throat> Very, uh, strong performance. Nothing too flashy. We only threw 52 yards, but the passes that were connected were important. I mean, there was third down touchdown pass. Um... There were, I mean, yeah, there were some drops that could have been better. So the the efficient, the passing efficiency probably should have been more. But you know, I gotta give it to the defense. They had a hell of a game, and the running game was strong for us too. 171 yards rushing on 20 runs. Stats were, yeah, I don't know. I'd say even we definitely outgained them by a good amount on the run, a decent amount on the run. But, you know, those two picks were huge. They stalled off two of their drives. So, let's skip the rest of the week and see what we got next week. So, the Falcons lose to the Oilers. The Cowboys beat the Colts. The Chargers beat the Seahawks. The Packers lose to the Lions. And then that's it for the first week of the season. So... Next week, we do battle with the Detroit Lions. And let's see what their situation was. They did get the win. So, three teams out of the Central one, and two of them will be facing off in, uh, in week two. So, that'll do it for this week's Tecmo Tuesday, the, the opening day uh, for season number six. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week.